Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we will be doing a tutorial on Deliver the Bomb. So for this mission we're going to be using brick, so bring about two to three thousand brick. Uh, I haven't exactly counted how much exactly it is, but you'll need about two to three thousand. Uh, for Deliver the Bomb, it's quite a complicated mission, so like first you need to look for three things. The You can see uh, a over there and B over here, this is the launcher, and pretty much you need to find them, activate them, connect them, and then defend while the bomb is transported towards the launcher. Now I recommend building wood around the track, so you need to like build a track from the place where the bomb comes from to the launcher, and so I recommend just building like some wood tunnels around it just to stop the husks, and then you just don't need to do as much killing. Now let's start with the build. We're going to be using brick, as I said. Now we just want to start by boxing the build, like this. It's a 2x6 area, so we just need to box it just like that. And then we need to build around like this. Just like you would do in a uh, retrieve the data or write the lightning. Okay, let's just build something a bit like this and jump up. Okay, I just fell in. Jump up and place walls around like this. And then like this. And now we've covered the like main part of the gun. So now let's just upgrade all of these outside bits, not the inside bit. Uh, not the roof, just the inside bits. We'll just wait for it to come around again. Now sometimes in this mission, when you start it, they will spawn. Uh, they will spawn uh, propanes and flingers. If that happens, then you kind of just need to hold off. It does get quite difficult. So um, the next thing we're going to look at is the base. So we just want to place our base back here. This is our base. We need power base Nox in the lead. Uh, Mega base in the squad. Then frozen castle. Tough Traps, Base MD, and Lofty Architecture. And I also recommend for the gadgets you bring Banner and Slowfield. So the thing is about Banner and Slowfield is the Banner will increase the health for about a minute and the Slowfield will slow down Husk's attacks for about a minute. And these are very useful just in case you make a mistake or something bad happens. Now let's get into the actual build. So let's see, the Husks are coming from over here. So what we want to do, I think, let me have a look, let's get right here and right here, we'll place some walls like this, and then flatten this out. Okay, so then we want to go like this, and like that, we're basically just building boxes to lure the husks into. Now there are some more efficient and like better ways of doing this, but I've found that this is the most reliable most reliable like way of doing it.
So, uh, now for the traps. For the traps, I'm going to be using this trap. Assemble, draw, reload, draw, reload, draw, and then heals attached. And we're going to need a few of those. One right here. In this little box here. And then one in here. And one in here. And then we're going to use some freeze traps. These rolls. Place them in here. And then a floor launcher. Right there and there. And then if you really feel like it, you can also, like if, like if you think that it might be a bit more difficult, you can place some uh, wall lights on the walls here, but I'm not going to do that because it's not really necessary. Now, let's just head inside. And this is where our box is. We want to get a trap that looks like this doesn't need any of this, it just needs to have increased build health, and it can be any wall trap that increases build health. I'm just you know, going to use these spikes because they're cheap. And put one on that box, one on that box, and one here. So when they spawn, they'll come down here and go in. Just to block them off, we'll just do that. Because they might jump on these stairs. You never know in this game, they could do something stupid. So we'll just go like that. I'm just going to put a bit of a blocker up here, just to make sure that anyone that spawns up goes in. And yeah, if anyone spawns over here, they'll come through here. So let's start it. And uh, see how we go. Oh, I just realized I left the base knocks built on the screen the entire time. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm an idiot. But it's fine. So these guys are all coming down. And honestly, I've just died instantly, but it doesn't matter as long as they go in. These guys look like they're going to be a bit of a pain, but it doesn't really matter at all. They'll just jump down eventually. And yeah, we just want to kind of lure them all in to the correct area. These guys are being a bit annoying because of the spawn, but it's fine. Oops. Okay, so I'm just going to skip to the end now, and I'll come back when we... Okay, guys, so just remember, when the mission ends, uh, just come over here and collect your base. Oh, well, I was going to say, I was going to show you. Um, a, a Smasher did actually spawn, which was quite random. I think a few of the husks glitched out and, like, killed themselves, and a Smasher ended up spawning, and also a mini boss. The mini boss was completely fine, I just boxed it and used the slow field on it. And, uh, the Smasher, I just had to kill it. Just get your pot shot or your Mythic Launcher out and just kill it. A Smasher if it spawns. Yeah, so, um, of course, like any mission that has those, uh, guys with the doors, it can be quite finicky. But, this build is extremely reliable for me.
and it always works, pretty much. Although, sometimes mashes do spawn. So, um, if you enjoyed, like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 by the end of the year. If I do end up getting 1,000, if you see in the, uh, if you have a look and I have 1,000 subs, then use code electricso one I guess. If I can get a support a creator code, that would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.